We're working with these rational expressions here. This one we're going to be adding. And uh, typically the first thing that you want to work on on these is finding the lowest common denominator. Now, we can do that on this one. But I'm looking here, and I see that I can quickly reduce them right away. I've got a 2 on top and bottom that I can cancel. And a 6 and 4 can be reduced. That's going to make my life a lot easier to do, uh, to find the lowest common denominator if we can do that first. So the very first thing I'm going to do is actually take these and I'm going to reduce these. The 2's will cancel. That will be 1 over v cubed. The 6 and 4 will cancel. The 6 will become a 3. The 4 will become a 2. So let's rewrite that so that we can read it. So here's kind of what I'm left with after I've reduced those. And you want to be mindful of that. If any way you can reduce it first, it's going to make your life a lot easier as you find the lowest common denominator as you work through the rest of it. Otherwise, you're going to have to reduce it at the very end, and that's always a little bit more complex. Okay, so now that I've got this one set up, now I can look at this one and go, okay, what's the least common denominator here? Well, these don't really share anything in common, so least common denominator would be the two of these multiplied together. Okay, that's going to be 2 u squared v cubed. Okay, now in order to obtain this lowest common denominator, and the denominator on this one, we've got to think of what we've got to multiply this one by. We're going to have, it's missing the 2u squared. So on this side, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2u squared. I'm not changing the value because I'm essentially multiplying this by 1. 2u squared times 2 over 2u squared is just 1. So, but that will give me the same denominator here. Now, on this second one over here, the second part, I should say, 2u squared, well, according to my lowest common denominator, the only thing I'm missing is this v cubed. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by that v cubed. All right, now as I multiply top and bottom by that, I end up with this common denominator here, which is 2u squared v cubed. 1 times 2u squared is just 2u squared. 3 times v cubed is v cubed. Now that I've got the same denominator, I can simply just add their numerator. Because the bottoms are the same, I can add whatever they're on top. So then those two cannot be combined. I'm just left with 2u squared plus 3v cubed all over 2u squared v cubed. Now, it kind of feels like we should be able to reduce these here because I've got a u on top and bottom and v's on top and bottom, but I cannot because of this addition sign right here. So this is my final answer. This is in the proper form. Remember, we've got to put them in alphabetical order. u comes before v. But this is your final answer here.